it is time for a zoom test between the DJI Matrice 300 RTK and its H20T versus the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. And we're also gonna put them up against the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Some new drones came out on the market recently, uh, namely the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T. Both of these drones are aimed at inspection. Both of these drones are aimed at public safety, search and rescue. So we're gonna pit both of these drones and their zoom capabilities against the DJI Matrice 300 RTK with that H20T, which is an amazing drone and an amazing camera. And I'm just telling you now, uh, that camera, the, the Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T, that's gonna win uh, this shootout. It's got an amazing zoom range, but we're just gonna show it to you, do a little comparing and contrasting of these images, and maybe it'll give you a better idea of which drone you're really looking for. Obviously, there's a huge price difference. The Matrice 300 RTK is more than three times the price of either the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced or the Autel Evo 2 640T. So just a little heads up on that. Wanted to give you that information right out of the gate, but what you lose in price, what you have to pay extra in price. Uh, if you get the smaller drones, uh, you're gaining the mobility of those. They're very easy to deploy. You get them up in the air under a minute. In the next week or so, we're gonna do a thermal comparison of all three of these drones. But for right now, let's take a look at what these three drones can do with their incredible cameras and their zoom capabilities.
right, so I hope those examples gave you an idea of some of the differences of these drones. Obviously the Matrice 300 RTK with that H20T by far blows the other two out of the water. I mean, it's got a 200 times zoom range, uh, 23 times optical zoom, 200 times digital. So if you're doing inspection work, uh, if you need to inspect a building, if you need to inspect a wind turbine, uh, this is the drone you're gonna wanna use. What are the negatives of it? It's kind of a lot to lug around. Um, you gotta set it up, you gotta fold the arms, you gotta lock the arms, you gotta put the legs on. Uh, so it's it's a lot more involved than than like the Mavic or the Autel drone, which you can just literally pop them out of the box, unfold the arms real quick, hit start, and you're up in the air and you're flying. So that is probably the negative of the Matrice 300, but in terms of image quality, wow, completely different. You can see I zoomed all the way into the Sears Tower from 43 miles away. So it's got a, it's got a good zoom. All right, let's talk about the smaller drones. The Autel drone, it can shoot in 8K, it can shoot in 6K. Uh, it's got the zoom range all the way through it. So eight times zoom, you're gonna get four times lossless zoom on that, uh, eight times zoom total with digital. So it does have a decent zoom range. Now, with the Mavic, it kind of blows it out of the water to a certain degree, because in photo mode only, in photo mode only, that's important, you're gonna get a 32 times digital zoom. Uh, in video mode, you're gonna get a four times lossless zoom. So the Autel drone beats it there where it has eight times, but in photo mode, you can go up to 32 times with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, uh, which can be great, especially for search and rescue. Now, the one thing you can't record it. So if you're zooming in, the only way to record it is to record your screen, which you can do on most of these remotes, um, but you can fully record it in that capacity, but you're not gonna be able to record it onto your SD card that zoom range, even if you take the picture all the way zoomed in, when you look at the JPEG at the end of it, it's gonna be completely widescreen and you'll have to go in and do a little bit of work after the fact uh, to zoom in on it digitally. So all of these drones are great tools. I think each of them has their own thing that they really excel at. With the Autel drone, you're getting a little higher quality on the video side. With the DJI drone, you're getting that zoom range. You're also getting all the stuff that comes with that as well uh, in terms of like the attachments and the speaker and the spotlight, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and then with the Matrice, it is just quality all the way through, but it comes at a price. But if it's something you can afford and if you're looking for the right tool uh, for your inspection job, or if you work for county law enforcement, this might be a drone uh, that you're interested. That's what we're seeing a lot of. The counties will buy the big Matrice drone and the local police departments will purchase one of the smaller drones that they can have in the back of their squad car. So, all right, that's all for me today, guys. We're gonna be doing more and more tests on this. We're gonna do a thermal test very soon as well with all three of these drones, uh, just to kind of give you an idea on what they have to offer. So we appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.